Hey, we're in the next part now. While I'm explaining the story, uh, all right. So please go check out the previous parts to gauge your bearings. We are telling a situation. We're explaining a scenario, not a scenario. It's a life event that happened. I'm actually telling you guys a dream. I'm gonna tell you a dream, but the events of my life around this time were incorporated into this dream so as to help you understand the curse on the country, the principality that is over the country, and how it's been around literally since when going as far back as, if not going even farther back when i was 19 years old i'm currently 38 so essentially 20 years later it's uh it's still here and it's grown fangs it's gotten worse it's rearing its ugly head anyway so one time in the store where i was working in rosebank the i told you guys that uh you know i was i didn't have transport to get home and i would let guys take me home and it was it went swimmingly until it just didn't and it made me quit my job because i realized i was putting myself in danger right i was low-key prostituting myself for rides to get home i never did anything with these guys i didn't even like them um if they were not my kind of people i don't i wasn't interested in such men uh nonetheless i allowed myself to humor their advances just so they would take me home because i needed a job due to what was going on in my life i did not have enough money i was a student i needed things and i i, I you know my job was gonna buy me what few little things i needed whatever little bit of money i would make them one day however uh, and i think it was after this event this experience that i quit okay these two guys came in men i told you guys that at the time i was young so when i say men i'm not speaking kids that are maybe like you know 20 21 22 like me i'm speaking dudes that are headed for 30 if not already in their 30s all right these men came into the store and one of them uh you know started talking to me uh time was taking i had yet to find a lift a guy that was gonna pick me up and take me home and these guys were potentials as i looked at them i could tell they were one of those that drive blah blah anyway walked in and predictably the dude started talking to me started you know asking what can i do for you blah blah told him that i um I need a ride home basically you know because my mom is sick and i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm freaking out i don't have money for a maxi taxi and this dude was like okay i'll take you home and lo and behold him and his friend came back and they did indeed do just that take me home uh asked for my number however at the end of that whole ride on some maybe we'll see you again next time so i mean i couldn't not give a guy that just drove me all the way home to like 20 kilometers out of his way i can't make such a guy i can't say no to giving such a guy that my number uh, so i was like okay i gave him my number right uh this guy was like i said in his late he looked like he could have been late 20s early 30s but he was handsomeish to understand he wasn't uh, yeah whatever I, I, he was a little bit old for me but he was cute so i was like uh, you know uh, i don't know like uh, we'll see let's see where this goes so when he called me uh, to go out for what I imagine dinner that would be a decent first date like go eat lunch or dinner or something uh, I was like eh, let's see let me give this guy a chance you know let me go eat let me see what he where he takes me type thing so on the day so he calls me organizes a date um, this date just so happens to be in an, on an evening that I'm not working okay uh, picks me up takes me out of my mother's house all right on a cushy day where i could have just watched movies on tv and been safe and he picks me up and takes me out of that comfort zone and i was first of all kind of surprised that he brought a friend to a date he, the same friend that he came with at the mall that day he came with him again on this day you know so i was like okay this is weird maybe you're gonna go drop your friend off and then we're gonna go eat dinner or something uh he picks me up at my mama house with this friend of his i'm like dumelang hi what's up cool sit in the back seat like inappropriate already like how are you going to be making your potential girlfriend be sitting in the back seat while you and your boys chat like what is this nonsense rubbish where's the respect anyway whatever so i'm sitting in the back seat looking like these like randoms are chauffeuring me and i'm thinking we're gonna go maybe to rosebank premi piotti eat some dinner or anywhere else in his hood uh and eat some dinner eat like it's a date like you better feed me <laughs> Instead, we went into the suburbs of Santon. I think it was, was it? It was Santon, literally. Like, what is that surrounding neighborhood around Santon? You know, oh, Athol, yeah, Oakland. I just, you know, where you can see the Santon Tower, like, not 
just like you know hovering in the sky there from a not too far distance you can see that hey there's Santon and it's written Santon City on top and you can see it it was one of those neighborhoods so uh, just for the sake of reference I think it might have been Ethel okay some very high end neighborhood with beautiful houses and I'm in the in the in streets of this hood and I'm like maybe his friend lives here so how about maybe we drop his friend off uh, okay whatever so uh, I also found it weird because his friend was the one that was driving okay on the day when he picked me up he was the one that was driving his car this day his friend was driving so I thought that maybe not to drive <laughs> he was tired of driving and so he was like friend please drive um, I have this girl to pick up we have a date I'll drop you off at home and then I'll take over from there literally I'm coming up with all of these scenarios in my head to explain why why this dude decided to bring a friend to a date okay anyway whatever so uh we go in the in the like burb suburbia of this lonny bougie neighborhood that is all gated uh we go in and we enter into we we park outside this one house this very elaborate house we park outside this one house and we go in and i'm thinking did this guy just bring me to a house party like this this is just the thing i can't stand it like black guys why must you take a girl out on a date can't we just eat and talk like what is with the how are we gonna get to know each other i was so exhausted with that kind of shock that you find as a girl when you go out with some of these guys that take you to a club instead of you to go eat dinner. It's like when you take a girl to a club on a first date, you obviously don't want to talk. You don't want to know who she is. You just want to hit that. You want to get her as drunk as you possibly can and just like hit, like hit that and get out. Hit it and quit it. So I was like, this dude literally sees me as a hit it and quit it. I thought we were going inside this house because there was like a little mkembe. Hey, they going on an umts umtsi situation and it was annoying but it was typical i was not thinking this dude is a total criminal or something gangster he was just acting like a typical dude that does not that's not interested in being serious with a girl all he wants is to hit that and so i just had a strategy in my mind i'm not going to sleep with him because he brought me to umgrimbi because he doesn't want to talk he brought me here because he thinks that he's going to get to hit that tonight anyway the power just came back as you could tell there we, it was the we were in a park hut. anyway so i thought that this dude wanted that so i already had like a strategy i had box gloves and everything like i was ready prepared in my mind pretty much what it is that i was going to say to make this guy understand that one tell like anyway whatever cool that was the situation we however walk into this house like i remember i thought it was i thought it was a house party that would have been way more decent than what it is that i ultimately found out I, we walk in, there's no music, there's no ooms, 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 wee, wee. There's no ha, 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 ha laughter of many people. <laughs> there's nothing of that nature. So I'm like, this is a weird thing, but this is sand. And so, I mean, people here got like soundproof, like clubs in their basements. Like, yeah, so maybe, just maybe because um, it, it was like a, a wealthy neighborhood maybe just maybe there's like a, a, a basement club in this house that's why it's so quiet <laughs> ah, we're close towards this house and it's still really super quiet knock on the door and the person who opens is the owner of this house the man who lives there and i could hear this guy do you understand first and foremost what happened as we were in the passageway headed towards the house his friend led the way right he took me pinned me against the wall and literally slapped me that's what it is that i call it he slapped me with a kiss i didn't see it coming i didn't see it coming at me he just like oh, was all up in my grill anyway i allowed him okay but i i realized that this dude is trying to do stuff like i haven't even spoken to him the whole time that we were driving here he was chatting with his friend because i was in the back seat remember and we have not had much of a conversation other than the one that we had on the day that he dropped me off at home and, and even then it was again his friend was in the car so it was very neutral like flat line sort of kind of general conversation nothing so what do you do what's going on i don't even think this dude knew what i was studying at varsity he just knew that i was a student at wits anyway whatever so for him to just hit me with that like activity without us eating without him finding out what i am basically he's not a man here that is falling in love with me he's a guy or that has any kind of deeper feelings for me this is a man that just wants recognizes that i've got body parts that he could play with and he just wants to use them and i was like whoa caught off guard by that random kiss and he kissed me in the passage headed into this particular house so he was basically starting what he wanted to do and finish in this house oh god have mercy let's move to the next part